What is up, everybody? Welcome into this new video, Techpress. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do some dropshipping using Vsauce uh, for beginners. Actually, it's really, really simple. Uh, what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is to actually use my online store of Shopify. Into Shopify, it's actually really, really simple to get started by making some dropshipping, uh, print on demand, manual stuff. It's really, really easy to use Shopify. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get started into Shopify and you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up. So um, it's going to be really, really easy to use these users. If you don't want to use it with Shopify, you don't have to worry about that. But what I wanted to do is to end install the actual users inside my Shopify so it's gonna be a little bit more easier to grant the access between my store and into thesis why do i want to grant the access between both of them because once this has been successfully done i can add automatically whatever products i wanted to into my access store shopify and then later on we have to do absolutely anything so whether you have an account into users or if you don't it's actually really really easy the process you want to just sign up by using an email verify your account adding a phone number verify that phone number and you will actually be successfully done now in my case what i wanted to do is to log in since i already have an actual account into Deezus. now in my case it's going to be asking me to reauthorize aliexpress as you might know vsears is a dropshipper supplier that comes directly into aliexpress so what i need to do is to authorize aliexpress for the very first time or for the second time in this case so what i want to do is to already have an aliexpress account if you don't have an aliexpress account i can totally just do to sign in using the same account that you have enabled inside Deezus and inside your shopify or whatever store you have enabled so it's going to be appearing something like this you wanted to grab the authorization you want to agree to the authorization terms and agreement and hit now into authorize once this has been successfully done this should be taking you back into thesis and it's going to be telling you that the actual automation or the access is now been enabled so there you go it says welcome to thesis aliexpress official applications so uh, as you can see, we have the home section, we have the dropshipping guide. No products, no orders. I am new and I don't know anything of how you can get started with. So what is dropshipping? You can read how you can get started. We have videos of how you can import products, how to send products to Shopify after you imported them. I have products with no orders. But I'm going to be showing you really, really quickly uh, before we lift. Now that we have here our account into Deezers, is how we can use Deezers to get started with our very first dropshipping product. So, if I go here into the find suppliers, uh, it should be appearing here a lot of categories. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to sell any specific stuff. And if you want to sell something truly specific, you wanted to go here into find suppliers. And here into the upper side, what you want to do is to enter the keyword to search. So here, let's say, for example, that I wanted to sell some headphones. So I'm going to hit into headphones. And there we go. As you can see, we have this Lenovo Pro earpods. We have this Bluetooth stuff. We have this original Lenovo. So um before we wanted to add a product into our store we wanted to make sure that we have the actual right product in order to sell it because we don't want to add just like whatever product we want to actually uh let people buy really great quality products quality versus quantity remember that so here what i want to do is to look out for the best product and looking for the best product is actually not that hard what i wanted to do is to let's say for example the first of all is to focus into a product that i do like at first view let's say for example this lenovo uh, lp14 pro uh earphones so i click the and this one should be taking me automatically into the aliexpress product so check it out here uh, all the reviews check it out how many has been sold check it out the actual stars check it out how much it'll be taking you to receive that into your actual store check that out uh, check all of that check check it really really all of that focused back into teasers and here choose the one that says add to input list so now what I wanted to do is to do exactly the same thing with the products that I think is going to be making me some sales. After you have added all of the elements that you wanted to add into your actual store, focused into the left part that says import list. As you can see, we have one, two, three products already been added. 
So with that being said, what I wanted to do is to look out for the edit product before I send this into my store. Into the edit product details, we do actually have the title, we have the variants, the description, the images, and the shipping info. Usually what I think is going to be much more easier to get started with is the actual title. As you can see, we do have the compare price value. If you wanted to add a little bit more of money, what you want to do is to higher your price value so you can add an actual profit. So let's say, for example, that I sell this for $16 instead of $10. So maybe I'm going to be earning uh, a little bit more than $5, maybe. So we're going to hit now into save. And you wanted to do exactly the same thing with all your actual products. Once you have successfully done that, so I'm going to go and select all of them. One, two, three, and hit into push to Shopify. So push to Shopify, since I already have an actual store of Shopify, I wanted to just hit into enable this. I go into link to Shopify and all of those elements automatically should be linked into my actual store. So in my case, I'm going to hit into my actual home section. I'm going to go into my online store. I wanted to use a free version and now I have the products been pushed so we can go into check status and see if this one has been now successfully added. So just to make sure, go back into your store, go back into products and as you can see, one, two, three products have already been added. What is left to be done is to go directly into my online store as a preview just to make sure that all the elements has now been added automatically. So as you can see, it is actually working really, really great. So I can go back into these those and here I can add more products if I wanted to. I do have the report that can be helping me to check it out. Um, the time zone, the sales report, all of that. We can link more stores down in here and we can have the actual tracking element of how it's going to be looking our actual, um, let's say all our stores, all our stuff that we have just done so far. In my case, we don't have any orders yet, but here is how it should be appearing your orders here into Deezus. So this here is like your main rows, the products of AliExpress, but with your actual own rows. So with that being said, guys, I think we have now covered the basic into details. You are now ready to get started with the dropshipping section. So we have lots of fun. If you wanted to make sure what are the actual stores that this is enabled yet, you wanted to go here and see link to more stores. And here it should be appearing to all of the actual stores that can be helping you to get started here in the thesis. But usually this one works with the actual Shopify. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Remember that you have these free bows and a trial bows on uh, Shopify and a few rewards just by signing up. Don't forget to like and subscribe once again. Thank you so much for watching the video. And with that being said, I'll see you on the actual next time.